kitchen for mommy. I went to work this morning and then I got told that I had to do off. That's one of the things that gives me confidence and I... This is what we're dealing with. You actually do need to take a day off. Levi, ready to go to nursery? Yeah? Alright, what song do you want? Let's play a song and then we can go. Hallelujah. You want hallelujah? Okay, let's play that song and then we go to your nursery, okay? Hi, good morning. It's half nine now. I finally get time to sit down, recollect my thoughts and probably make a plan for the rest of the day and I wanted to sit down and chat with you. Um, I have had an unexpected off day today from work. I completely forgot that I booked this day off because I needed an admin day. The weekend was supposed to be so much more different than I planned for it to be and so I thought I needed this day to, you know, sort out a couple of things around the house and admin and stuff and then I got to work this morning and then I got told that I had to do off. So I left um, happily and then carried on with a lot of other things. I have been in a bit of a rut for quite a good couple of weeks now. I've been unwell for the most of April. We are on the 2nd of May at the moment. Um, for three to four weeks of April, I've been sick. It's like on and off, I fall sick, I get better, almost better, and then I fall sick again. The worst was about 10 days ago, I had severe conjunctivitis, both viral and bacterial, I had to be on antibiotics for it. And then got really bad cough and cold, um, fatigue and everything. I thought it was COVID. It's a mixture between COVID and influenza, but you know, you no longer test it now, but it's just a mixture of everything. I was away in Glasgow for more than a week too, while Lakshman was away in Paris. So we went to Glasgow over the weekend two weeks ago and then stayed back in Glasgow for a couple of days extra and then I came back to uh, Bristol. So, you know, with all of these commotions and everything going all over the place and all of these stuff going on, I've kind of let myself go. I've not been working out, obviously, because I was unwell. Uh, not motivated to work out, so never did it. I've been eating way too much. Feeding myself junk is my problem and losing control with how much I eat. Like, you know, portion control and stuff. I've not been doing that at all. So I've not been feeling good in myself. I usually tend to eat healthy. I need to eat healthy, work out and everything so that I feel good. I look good. That's one of the things that gives me confidence and I've not been doing that at all lately. Um, and I've been doing a lot of shopping, unexpected shopping. It hasn't come yet, but then I've ordered a lot of stuff online to try. Most likely return to, you know, you know how it goes with online shopping and stuff. You never know the size, it's never right. I've not done shopping in quite some time. Shopping meaning like proper office clothes, you know, work work clothes. I moved to a new role in January, end of January, early February, and I've not been dressing up to my role. Definitely not been doing that at all. I do have quite a bit of work trips and meeting and everything coming up and I wanted to feel confident. Dressing up is the one thing that gives me confidence, you know, and I don't want to take that away from myself, obviously. No one takes it away from me. It's me who does it to myself. Sometimes I just don't bother dressing up. Sometimes 
I do um, in the days that I don't bother dressing up is the day that I feel really bad and down that I'm like why didn't I take the effort to do it you know why didn't I just curate my wardrobe better that's a thing that I really need to do I need to curate my curate my wardrobe better I need to actually sort it out organize it uh, that's like another another long thing that I have to do uh, outstanding list and stuff so since I have this admin day since I have this day off, I have a lot of things to do. We had my uncle and my cousin visiting over the weekend as well. So we had a lot of stuff moved around, shifted around. My bedroom has suffered the most, not because of the weekend, but, you know, because of the whole month. My bedroom and my wardrobe has suffered the most. Um, I need to do some laundry today. I need to do some cooking. I have to do some batch cooking for Levi. I haven't done it in quite some time. Um, need to catch up with that, a bit of housework, it's already the middle of the week and I have a busy couple of weeks, Lakshman is away in London today so he's gonna come back late tonight. I spontaneously went to the gym this morning, it's not my normal workout but it's something, you know. I saw some pictures that we took yesterday when we were out in town in the city with my uncle and my cousin brother. I was completely out of shape, it was probably bad angle. Most, I was wearing a jumper, so you couldn't really see that I was out of shape. But my face was bloated. And also, I don't know if this thing has contributed to it. Ever since I had conjunctivitis about two weeks ago, I've stopped putting on eyeliner because I needed to give time for my eyes to heal and recover, obviously. It's it's recovered already. The normal redness is just my usual tiredness, you know, I'm, I'm forever tired. But then I stopped using eyeliner now and I'm like, I'm in two hearts. I use eyeliner all the time, every single day so that I don't look sickly or tired, like how I look now. But then sometimes when I look at some pictures, I'm like, you know what, it's, that's me, that's how I look like, that's normal. Uh, I think I can do without an eyeliner anymore now, or maybe not just, you know, everyday basis. But I'm the kind of person who likes to look the same every single day. I don't want to dress up just on one particular day or for an event, look good, you know, put on makeup and stuff, but just that one day and then the rest of the day look bad. But then I don't know, I'm still half minds. Um, I am tired now because of dark circles which never never leaves anymore I think I don't know what else I can do about it but then um, yeah that's one of it that that was one of the reasons that pushed me to go to the gym this morning how it looked like in pictures yesterday I was like I've let myself go too much again and probably my heaviest now post uh, pregnancy obviously and post uh, breastfeeding too because I've been eating junk I've been feeding myself junk and I really need to get back to healthy eating especially when it's spring summer now so i have a lot of things to do and i thought i'll take you on that journey today it's this is my getting out of a rut this is my productive day this is my admin day house cleaning cooking outside work chores and stuff i've already done a couple of things i've done quick grocery but the bag is set right behind you at the moment i need to unload everything but i do need to go out to the bank and the library to renew some of levi's books and you know banking some money and get some banking stuff done i shall catch up with you in a bit i'm gonna sit down finish my cup of tea um plan my timing a little bit and then i'll either do like voiceovers or talk to you while I'm doing stuff but I hope this motivates you I am well aware that I've been sat here for a good 10 minutes chatting talking I'm sorry I just can't help it I miss talking to you <laughs> and I miss sitting down talking I miss this quietness being able to hear myself <laughs>
I'm halfway through cooking and well underway with my list. I've ticked up almost half of it, which I'm really proud of. But I just wanted to stop and come and tell you that Lakshman is in London today for a meeting in the parliament because of composites, something like that, something to do with work, I don't know. The meeting is in the afternoon. He obviously left in the morning. He's gone shopping in Uniqlo. And he's been sending me pictures of dresses and tops and blouses and everything. And I'm like, you are living my dream. I've been wanting to go to London. I've wanted a casual stroll around London, eating out, shopping and everything. And he's gone. And instead of choosing something for me, he's been sending me pictures because he bought something for me from Paris and it didn't suit me. It didn't fit me, nothing. It looked really good. It's from Mango. However, it was for a tall person, I think. And I'm petite. I'm literally a dwarf. Um, so it obviously didn't suit me. We went to the Mango here in the city and they took it back, which was great for us. So now he wants to redeem himself and buy something else for me. He chose really nice ones, but I kind of don't like that style. I'm no longer into it. And everything that he looks at, everything that looks nice for him are the ones with these kind of collars. And a lot of my clothes already have these kind of collars, you know? And I'm like, I don't want collar dresses anymore. He sent me like 10, 15 pictures now of dresses, blouses, skirts, t-shirts, tops, every single thing he can see in the store. And I like a couple of it, but I don't think it's going to suit me. And it's so difficult to save without me trying it. And he says, I am so difficult to choose for. I am not actually difficult to choose for. It's just that it's difficult to find something to suit my body type. For the size I am, for the height I am, especially for the shape I am at the moment. So difficult when you're between sizes. And I am very annoyed that I am not the one there who is able to try it. Finished all of the cooking, cleaning, managed to relax a little bit, watch something online, uh, did a bit of reading as well. Now I'm going to tackle the bedroom. I left it to the last minute possible because I didn't want to do it, but I'll show you what we're dealing with. This is what we're dealing with. I need to sort out all of these things. And this mess over here and there's a little bit more over here it's just all over the place really it's too much and there's more stuff in here that needs folding and putting away as well i managed to do everything fold clothes put away everything but i forgot to film anything at all so you're just gonna have to take my word for it because i'm rushing to go and pick levi up but before i leave i want to show you what i managed to cook today got breakfast done for two days for us this is cauliflower with um you know it's like mac and cheese but instead of uh fully cheese and flour it's cauliflower with milk and cheese and then this is rice. I was supposed to make chicken um, prawn curry with it, but then we ran out of ginger garlic paste. So I'm just going to do that tomorrow. That is mixed vegetable pasta sauce for Levi. And this is yogurt and blueberry bites. They are so good. We are sorted for the next couple of days now. I am so glad I actually had this day off today to be able to do all of these things. I didn't even realize I had it, but it was just meant to be. You know, I really needed this day to get everything done today. I am terribly sorry if this was a boring day for you, but this was an extremely productive day for me and I really wanted to show you that we sometimes actually need a day off to be able to do everything, you know? I'm not able to do all of these things with Levi and I won't be able to do everything in the evening after work, um, you know, after putting Levi to sleep. So you actually do need to take a day off 
from time to time to be able to do everything that you need. You need some time for yourself. I look really tired because I am tired, but I'm going to go and pick Levi up. Um, I hope this motivates you to get things done. If you really need to do things, just get it done. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.